I remember. 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 When the, I remember. I remember my grandmother. I remember my grandmother had a beautiful white smile. I remember grandmother liked to call the chickens by her great grandfather's first names. A man could never be that yellow with birth and joy, she would say. Mose! The white one, her favorite, was named after her youngest uncle. He lived up the hill where the river started in the village she grew up in. That village was something of nighttime stories and father's nightmares. I remember my grandmother used to keep a jar of sweets at the top of her closet. The sweets were multicolored. My cousins and I would gather around her in the afternoons after lunch for our daily dose of sugar. We all wanted the red ones. So by the end of the month, there were only yellow ones left. I remember falling from a tree in my grandmother's farm when I was a kid. I had climbed up to try and see how many of the yellow liquids I could eat by myself. I ran into a bumblebee flowing through the trees and through the branches. I was scared at the time. I didn't know that bumblebees don't sting. I tried to climb down and slipped and fell really hard and landed on the ground. I remember how she yelled at me after the accident, how she had a right to be unhappy. I was so lost and in the dark, but that moment was like a lightning bolt shedding skins and bones and revealing essence. I remember the man on the bicycle in Dhaka in the narrow lanes who I threw onto the street for harassing and stalking me. I was so young and so strong. I found a birthmark on the inside of my thigh I didn't know existed. It's strange how I still discover new things about my body. This is a city of many bodies. Some bodies are more invisible than others. I find myself moving with them. I remember Berlin when I was 13, the heroin addict and desolation and the outrage when the police laughed about the woman who had collapsed. Again, as they said. My legs are still an archive of all the times I've fallen off my bicycle or ran too fast without looking at the stairs. Nairobi has a way of making you remember making you learn and unlearn. It's almost like a ghost or a being who sees and cannot be seen. I remember my grandmother accidentally tipped me after my cousin's wedding. She gave me two pounds and asked me how long I'd been in the country. I remember my grandmother had a beautiful white smile and some of her teeth were missing. And when she laughed, you could see that all the remaining ones were yellow. Sometimes she'd tell us funny and scary stories about the river, which made us afraid of going to collect water at night. She'd once had a car accident and the car had ended up in the river. She'd been pulled to safety, but from that moment, she lost her sense of divine protection. She still wore her rosary, but it seemed to have lost meaning. Fear locked her inside and giving us sweets was her only way out of there. I remember grandma always opening the window curtains really wide, asking for more ventilation. I wonder what she would say about wearing masks and not breathing right. I remember when the passion tree was still up. Grandmother will always pick out the yellow ones that I found bitter. I tried climbing that tree once and had an accident where I toppled down the river that split the tree in two. I remember learning how to ride a bicycle and not regretting during the lockdown of how I used to ride around Kampala. I remember thinking many times in all of these years, I will leave Bangalore soon, but it has never let me go. I am now on year 15. I remember London wherever I go. The sound of falling, the sound of the bicycle, the sound of laughter, the sound of joy, the sound of bumblebees. I remember the funny jokes that my grandmother used to make. The samba songs she sang that I did not understand. Rest in peace, grandmother. Lost you in life, but found you in art. I remember. 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 I remember.